Send some Discord clips. Let's react to some clips. All right, let's see what we got here. What the hell is this? That's <laughs> fucking Bayonne, New Jersey. It's on the water in Bayonne. Holy shit, look at this. On the water in Bayonne. Welcome to be, dude. This is actually Bayonne. That was at, that was literally Bayonne. Last challenge. Dude, check out these tomes, tomes of knowledge, dude. I thought I hit a pen, bro. I thought I literally thought I hit the pen. I I just zoned out, and I thought I had hit it, bro. Course oral, and I also like role play. That's basically where you dress up and pretend to be someone else, or you pretend to be daddy's little girl. Love when people just can just just clip out of context of me reading chat, smiling through it all. Again, man, this was, uh, this was a moment at, at, at my other, um, at my other house. It was, what year was this? I think it was around the time I was doing the subathon. I don't remember, but you guys remember when I was playing with like Mopey or I was doing something. I think I was playing Fortnite and I got swatted and, uh, it was bad. And then this is the picture i tweeted so i wasn't just sitting there just glazing lebron for no reason it was a joke okay my face is cringe buddy your girl buddy if 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 we showed a thousand girls this face versus your face 999 of them would pick me okay do you understand what i just said really really think about what i said just now Okay, and then you live with that. Look at my lawyer dog. I'm going to jail. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. I just want somebody to jiggle my balls. All right. And 17% African American. I am not from Wakanda. <laughs> I'm from like Wakanda. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I saw this clip before. Um, I don't think I streamed that day, so I never got to talk about it, but... So, Speed, who who's arguably one of the biggest streamers in the world, I think he's like top two, top three. Um, every single person here is heard of Speed. He's streaming in every country, from what I'm told. He's going to every country and he's streaming... And, um, he, uh, he was in Norway here and they found out where he was. And listen, there's, there's times in other streams in other countries where people find him and they all, you know, they take pictures and whatever. There's a crowd. It's chill. Um, but this one, bro, for some reason, I don't know what the fuck happened in Norway. I don't know what the fuck is going on in fucking Norway. But they found out what stories in and just camped outside and were literally, literally attacking the guy, bro. Pulling his hair, spitting on him, doing crazy shit. Like, I, I, it's disgusting, dude. And it just makes, it's like, dude, it's like, listen, people want to do shit like this. They want to stream. They want to, um... But it's like, you gotta understand, like, who's out there, bro. There's fucking just psychopaths in the real world, bro. And I just hope that he has hella security. He, he shouldn't be getting touched at all right now. So I don't know what kind of security he's got. But for, for somebody his size, bro, he should have six security guards with him. And he should be in the middle of them. And they should all be armed. And that's it. Got 
your bitch wet like an ocean. Sipping. Bro, I told you. I t I just told you, bro. Dudes just just they bullshit in their raps, bro. They just bullshit. I said this. Fuck was that? What the fuck? Tell me this is AI, bro. Bro, I, tell Los to stop ducking the ones, bro. I don't give a fuck what month it is, bro. It can be. October, September, November, bro. The score will be 11-3. He's not scoring more than three on me. Guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. And this isn't a joke. This isn't a... Uh, Garen fucking Teed. Garen fucking Teed. Me and Flight will be playing a 1v1. Before the end of this year, before this year is up, we will play a 1v1. The year is 2024. It's July. Bro, if you think it's cat, if you want to, bro, then you tell me. I'll put something up then. You tell me, bro. Tell me. I'll put something up then. What do you want it to be? You think about it. Let me know, and I will fucking do it. So, yeah, and he said it's going to be 11-3. Bro, I want it, bro. I want this shit to be fucking, I want this shit to be streamed. I want this shit to be fucking, I want there to be money on the fucking line. We bring the boom! That's what we do! We bring the boom! We bring the boom to you! We bring the boom! We bring the boom to everyone! We bring the boom! Your favorite father and son! What the fuck did you just say, buddy? Your favorite father and son! Bud. <laughs> Yo, bro. Now I got beef with the fucking Costco guys, bro. Big AJ and fucking little little Tommy, whatever the fuck. Now we got fucking problems, bro. Now we got fucking beef. And now it's on. Get this shit off my fucking screen. Fuck out of here. Beat it up, mm -hmm, like this. Like Put it on, fresh fit, fly shit. Hoes going crazy! Hey, what you doing, bitch? Oh, shit. I love Subway Surfers, bro. Hey, everybody, everybody right now, don't bullshit. What's your high score in Subway Surfers? High score, 14.18 million. Lowe's put 3 million. Was, I never paid a dime for that in that fucking shit. It can't be real, bro. <laughs> What? 999 of those would pick me. <laughs> you know, when you're uh, on camera for nine years straight, not every single frame is going to be, you know, is going to be flattering. And, uh, this is an unfortunate one. But, uh, and it's probably altered, which, again, most of my pictures that look strange to me is most likely altered, bro. I almost started reaching for my ways. Knew it was smoke. How could any, dude, guys, dude, bro, Family Matters is one of the best diss tracks ever, bro. It's a three-part diss track. It fucking roasts like 20 fucking people. Okay? Drake got all this shit. All these people come at him. Just no fucking mercy goes at all of them. And that... You're trying to convince me that that's bad? 
You're trying to convince me it's bad because of what, bro? Dude, it's not real. It's Kendrick didn't beat his his girl, buddy. Kendrick said Drake has a hidden eleven year old daughter. He called he's called him and everyone who he knows is a pedo certified. Pe and but you believe Kendrick? You're a dick sucker, bro. You are a glazer. The same way you call a Drake fan a glazer for him defending him. You're literally being a hypocrite doing the same shit. Almost started reaching for my ways. Draw, draw. And you feel so bad for him and everything he's been through. And my heart cries for him and his family. And just thank God for President Trump. He's the hands and feet of Jesus. The Second Amendment is there to always protect my first. A better rapper than Lupe, and I don't even have to curse. Let's keep the American dream alive and put an. All right, is, there just, is this all Trump and Biden shit? I'm going to repeat myself again, bro. I'm going to repeat myself for the fucking 100th time. Because I love how you put this in here, acting like this is some exposure when I literally streamed this. Buddy... I'm going to say this for the fucking 3,000th time in a row. I come on the stream trying to make you laugh. This was a fucking joke because it was the day after Drake, everyone was tweeting at me. Oh, Drake paying his nails. Drake paying his nails. It was something Drake paying his nails one day. So I came on the stream with that as a joke. That was it, bro. Okay? That was a fucking joke. Nice joke, bro. <sighs> Why would you do this to Nick? To my drink. Why I got your bitch all in the knees. They know I'm a big boss. Got a big boss in this bitch. I'm getting the McCain jersey, bro. So let's see what they gotta say then. Let's see what the let's see what the dudes who get all outraged about everything on TikTok and in the comments. Let's see what they say then, bro. Now what, bro? I'm I'm getting this jersey. Now what? Oh, now you're gay. <laughs> you just you said that I'm wrong for making fun. Now you're now you're trying to insult someone, call them gay. Yo, bro. <laughs> I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere into a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater, ocean pool, restaurants, and all of the above. And I may be her most dedicated fan as it's a deep rabbit hole as. Alongside that, I also have an RC car so she can move around with me if I want. All my consoles are covered with her alongside all my game covers which I replace. I follow over 200 Maizono accounts which is currently half the people I follow on Twitter. I have over $500 in commissioned artwork, some of us together. I also have medieval chainmail with all the push button pins that I've collected of her, which goes together with a sword and shield, which is entirely made out of her. But most importantly, I've turned my house into a church for Mizuno, and this is what the outside of my house looks like. Besides advertising the church in the front of my driveway, I also have multiple billboards outside also advertising it for people driving by. My house is a legitimate place of worship, though, as when you walk in, you'll see a choir of Sayakas alongside an 18-foot-tall mural. Then, if you go upstairs, you can see the truly special part, which is the walls and rooms of Saika Maizono, as seen here, and have gone as far as putting pages on the ceiling. Then, when you come upstairs, you'll see that the floor is completely covered with pages, and extends all the way to this mini hallway. But the truly special part is this room right here, which is... But I get called a dick rider, and I get called an obiho and all this shit, because I like Scorpion, bro, and I like fucking, uh... Listen to Dark Lane demo tapes. Meanwhile, dudes can do this shit, and oh, it's a funny haha. -ha. Yo, bro, fuck you, bro. That ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo, get this guy out of my Discord. Ban this guy. Ban this guy from my Discord right now, please. We've seen it. I've talked about it. Talked about this clip before anyone else talked about this shit. Dude, listen, bro. I've been dealing with this clip. 
for fucking years, bro. Okay? I've always said it's weird. I, th I thought he tried to make a joke about it, and it just didn't land, and it came off weird. And then, obviously, you look at something 15 years later, like, ooh, that's a bad... Uh, do I believe that Drake's a weirdo? No, I don't, bro. You want to believe that? Then you better also believe that Kendrick beats women, bro. Okay? You want to just believe anything a rapper says? Please go ahead, because there's not one girl that came out and said Drake's a weirdo. Only person who said shit was Kendrick, a rapper, in a rap beef, in a battle with Drake. Okay? Shut the fuck up. No, sir, thanks. No, thanks. I told you no. I said no. 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 No, sir, thanks. No, thanks. I told you no. I said no. No. No! I, can we send more of these? I want to see more of this. That's funny. Uh, an exclusive! It arrives! Dude. Hey, bro. I've been there, bro. I lived in an apartment. I feel bad for anyone who's got upstairs neighbors, bro. I feel bad, bro. Because... Yeah, and we've seen it in hotels. I mean, dude, I told you what happened with me in the apartment I lived in when I when I was in LA, bro. I had a neighbor, um, who uh, who started uh, blasting music like crazy, bro. Oh no, no, that's different. The other the neighbor who who tried to press me and Raf, who had a baby, that guy moved out, moved to a different apartment. I'm talking about there was a guy who moved in. It was a couple dudes. They were young guys. Uh, possibly they were like selling selling drugs and shit because there were people constantly going in for like five minutes and leaving their apartment. Like it kept happening all day, every day. But anyway, doesn't matter. They would just start blasting music, bro. So then what I would do is I would start blasting music back. Then they would start hitting the wall. Then I'd blast music even louder, and I'd start beating the fucking wall. At one point, we were just fucking just bashing the wall for fucking hours, bro. And then finally, something happened. I think they got arrested, bro, because they just one day were just gone, like literally just gone. And I don't, and I don't know what happened. Why Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Anthony Spay channel. Can someone break down what a Sigma male is, please? What the fuck is a Sigma male? I really, I want to know what a Sigma male is, dude. Hey Siri, what's the definition of Sigma? As a noun, Sigma means... The 18th letter of the Greek alphabet, Sigma Sigma, transliterated as S. Do you want to hear the next one? Fuck. What the fuck, bro? Dude, this is fucking horrible. What I've come to realize with a majority of young women, especially attractive ones, you guys just aren't intelligent. And um, I think that's I'm sorry. how you feel. Right. That one is just that's how you, how you feel. feel. If you All would... of us would probably be intelligent in our own way. All right. Name three countries. We'll start here. Okay. Um, Tokyo. Like, bro, like, this is so dumb, bro. This is so fucking stupid, bro. But, like, I understand. Okay, fine, dude. Obviously, you could find stupid people. But to just sit here and just say every woman who looks good is stupid? That could be the... Yo. That's literally the... That's the most brain-dead thing I've ever heard in my life. That could be one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. The only people who would agree with that 
I see someone, oh, kind of true. The only people who agree with that just don't get girls, bro. They just don't talk to girls. That's the only, that's the only way that that could be true for you, bro. <laughs> It's so insane how this guy literally had a fucking heart attack, had a fucking condition where he couldn't even do anything. He wasn't even medically allowed to. And, you know, anyone who knows, anyone, basketball player, anything, if you just, if you don't do anything for months and months and months, it's hard to come back, bro. And get back in a shade like that. So then he had to play a season, which he could have just sat out and then came back, but he wanted to push through it, try to, was on a shitty fucking team. Where, like, when I say shitty, I don't mean, like, oh, everyone's garbage. And, oh, he should have been playing and averaging 20. No, 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 no. Everyone who plays D1 is fucking good, okay? I'm talking about the team is trash. The coaches, the fucking, the way it's run. Garbage. Garbage-ass team. When have you ever seen USC win something? Please tell me, bro. In recent years, when have you seen the shit? Anyway, dude deals with all this shit, comes back. Before this even happened, he was projected to be a first, a first round, second round draft pick, whatever. Uh, and then people are still mad that he went 55th overall, bro. Nobody picked him with their fucking, with their fucking, you know, top 10 pick, bro. And you're fucking mad about it, bro. Dudes are sitting here hating on a guy. What? Because LeBron beat your favorite team, bro. You're mad about LeBron. Go fuck yourself, bro. Dude talking about a dude who had a fucking heart condition and made it and made it to the fucking NBA. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fucking haters. Yeah, I'm about done with these. There were people mad that my dad didn't fuck with Ken Carson. Pull it in the head, or you may chop your head off with my axe. Man, come on, man, don't do this to me. Man, I pay you not to do it. I said. And then he seen the way I was looking, thinking about it. Man, I give you double. Double? My boy looked at me too. He said, man, it's on you. I said, hey, check this out. Can you get us the money? Because we ain't gonna let you go to, to, to go get it. I'm gonna just do you and take the money that I'm gonna be paid for. But if you could get that money to us without no motherfucking backlash, I won't. He said, man, I'm gonna call my sister. He did, he called his sister. Told his sister where to take it to where we told him to have a take. And we sat back and we watched her bring the bag, sit it there, and she left. A few seconds later, his phone ran. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I give it to him, man. Hey, sis, I love you. I love you. You saved my life. Man, you really did save your life, cuz I promise you that I won't kill you. And that's my word. Now, okay, somebody. So I go get the uh, bag. After I get the bag, I come back. He said, see, there's all this. Man, really is? Okay. I won't kill you. My boy said, but I didn't say I wasn't gonna kill you. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. Drake posted you for defending him. Hey, uh, I just want to thank each and every one of you standing with me through these tough times. You guys have helped me through these tough times, but I'd like to thank especially one person. What was his name? Leo? Uh, wait, Leo? Sorry. Oh, wait, Lou? No, Lewis. Yeah, Lewis, man. I've been seeing everything you've been doing and I really appreciate it. OVO loves you for real. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, Kick. Yeah, his handle on Kick is Los Polos TV. Polos? Uh, is that Spanish? That's dope. As fuck. This guy, man. Wait, I'm getting some info. He's on steak. Yo, drop your USDT. I'll drop you a bag, bro. Anyways, thanks, O. V, bro. Bye, big dog. You're awesome. Okay, as I was saying, yo, is it still recording? How do I stop it? Uh, the circle in the middle. Okay.
thought that was real for a second, bro. Ironic grandma cheesy tots. And you're literally banned. You're banned. I don't, you know what? I'm just gonna click a number. Uh, okay, landed on an hour. Good, you're an hour banned. You know what? You know what? No, I'm gonna ban you. Yeah, you're not getting away with it too. I'm not letting two of them slide. You're banned. You're done. I need you to send me a picture of your eyebrows right now on Twitter. Or you're getting not only perma banned in the chat, banned on Twitter, or blocked on Twitter, blocked on everything. Ban Zerks not only from the Twitch chat, but from every social media platform that I currently exist on. Not funny plus ratio. Yeah, you're banned, dude. Dude, you're just banned. It's not even like a like oh like it's no you're banned, bro. Okay, you're banned. Thanks for the dollar, Donna. Close, you're looking handsome. Get modded. Case you're sexy, you're modded now. You're modded now, buddy. Not gonna get baited again, bro. Not gonna, not gonna start this shit again, bro. I'm not gonna start this shit again, bro. Oh, wait, I like. This. I have to go off stream, or else. I, I, I... <laughs> you get Mario! Oh, get the fuck out! Oh my god! Had to go off stream, or else. I, I, I... <laughs> you get Mario! Um, listen, dude, specific looks completely different now, bro. This is he literally lost like a hundred pounds. All right, bro. I, 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 yo, this guy keeps saying, Watch Cuffum clip scroll up. Yo, if this isn't the funniest clip ever, bro, I'm banning you, bro. I'm hold on, I'm putting on your name. Hold on, hold on, bro. Dick Munch is the guy's name. Your name is Dick Munch. This better be the fucking funniest clip I've ever seen in my fucking life. Or not only are you fucking banned, bro. But I'll go around to every single stream. Every single fucking stream on Kick, and I will ban you, bro. In every single chat. Yo, throw my shit sub only. I got something to say. I got something to say first. Let me say it first. And I don't feel like hearing from weirdo niggas first. Let me say it first. First of wait, all, wait, wait. one of the reasons I wanted to go live and watch wait, the wait, shit man, is because... Wait, wait, man. Everyone watching the shit right now. Wait, man, wait, man, wait, man, wait, man. I'm not gonna lie, watching this shit and seeing how niggas acting in chat. Somebody stop like... that! Yo, you're bad, bro. See, bro, I'm not going to sleep on this plane, bro. I'm not going to sleep on this plane, bro. What is it, one eight hundred gambler? I'm gonna actually have a genuine conversation because they'll probably ask me if I am a, you know. I'm 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 addicted. Problem Hi, is this is this one eight hundred gambler? Problem gambling how may I help you? Uh yeah, I just I just wanted to uh talk to somebody. Problem call 1 800 gambler. Uh, no, they answer the phone with an attitude and hang up on you. They don't give a fuck about you. Burger King, Burger King, really? This is 1 800 gambler. You're posing as Burger King. What? These, these, these fuckers gotta be fired! I'm calling back. Hi, who am I speaking with? This is a helpline specialist. 
Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I, I would. I would like some help, please. How may I help you? Uh, I'm just getting connected to someone who can help me with my gambling. Okay. Have you tried praying over it? Have I tried praying? Are you? You're laughing. Oh my God! Dude, we gotta call back right now. We gotta call back right the fuck now. Hello, you have reached the Problem Gamblers Helpline. Leave your name, a contact number, and the reason for your call, and we will return your call as soon as possible. Have a great day. To dial another extension, press 1. To leave a voicemail, press 2, or simply stay on the line. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, uh, well, you guys didn't pick up, so going back to the ATM, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to withdraw my last $1,000 that I have to my name, and let's just hope it lands on black, uh, or else I'm fucked. Hope you guys can sleep well at night. That's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Dude. The, yo. The 1-800-GAMBLER hotline is literally the most useless shit. Like, if you have a gambling problem, you're cooked, bro. You can, there, I don't know what will help you. You can't call this number. I called the number a couple years ago. You saw this. Everyone's seen this clip. You've seen it. They're posing as Burger King. They're fucking telling me, oh, you should try praying. I called back two years later. Yeah, leave a voicemail. We'll get back to you. Buddy. I'm in the parking lot of the Borgata. You don't answer now. I'm going to chase. I'm taking out the rest of my money. I'm convinced that this they don't actually help people, bro. Just companies just say, oh yeah, use this just in case. But they really don't give a fuck. Like, I'm on oh, FanDuel. Yeah, yeah, call this number. Yeah, if you got a problem. If Middleton didn't hit his over. Yeah, dude, no. I fucking... Wow, that's fucked. Wow. Okay, anyway... <laughs> 